Hello and welcome to Ting's unboxing of the LG G3. Now this is a pretty sturdy box. Uh, it actually looks a lot different from the majority of packaging that we see. I think we'll just open it up and uh, check out everything inside. So this is the metallic black edition of the LG G3. I think we're going to take out everything else in the box before checking out the device itself though. So first thing we have is the get started guide. Obviously you do not need this, head to help.ting.com or give us a call and we will be able to answer all your questions. And here is the recycling bag, which you also don't need. You can activate a second device on Ting for just six bucks or keep it as a backup. Next we have the micro USB cable, as well as the wall adapter to go alongside that. And lastly in the box is the battery. So this battery is actually 3000 milliamps. Just open it up. And this will actually give you 19 hours of talk time and 548 hours standby, which is pretty significant. So that is everything that comes inside the LG G3's box. So now let's compare the LG G3 with a couple other devices we have here at Ting. I think first up, we'll take a look at Google's Nexus 5. Now the Nexus 5 is a lot smaller at just 5.0 inches of display versus the 5.5 inches of the LG G3. In terms of thickness, the Nexus 5 is just a little bit thinner at 0.34 inches versus the 0.35 inches of the LG G3. Next up, let's take a look at Samsung's Galaxy S5. Now the S5 has a 5.1 inch display, so still a lot smaller than LG G3's at 5.5. And in terms of thickness, uh, the S5 is actually only 0.32 inches thick, so a fair bit thinner than the LG G3. And lastly, we have the LG G3's predecessor, the LG G2, last year's model. Looks very similar. Both of them have uh, rounded backs, but obviously the LG G2 doesn't have the metallic finish. And in terms of screen size, the LG G2 is 5.2 inches versus 5.5 of the LG G3. And on the back, you'll see the power and volume buttons are uh, still in the same place. That hasn't been changed. And yeah, so here's a look at uh, three other devices along with the LG G3. Let's take a look at the physical features while we boot it up. First off, it has a nice feel with a really beautiful metallic black finish. And once the battery is inside, it really feels like a solid device. It doesn't feel cheap at all. It has a 5.5 inch quad HD display with 1440 by 2560 pixel resolution. And this is actually the highest resolution screen of any current gen smartphone. And the device also ships with 32 gigabytes of built-in storage. If we look up top, uh, there's an LED notification light along with a 2.1 megapixel front-facing camera. At the bottom, we just see an LG logo. Up top is the infrared or IR blaster. On the bottom is the micro USB slot along with the headphone jack. If we look in the back of the device, we'll see the G3's power and volume buttons uh, located on the back, similar to the LG G2. Up in the top right is the flash, and on the top left is the brand new laser focus. So this actually helps the device focus faster to take pictures much more quickly, and that's for the 13 megapixel camera up above. And I'll take off the back of the device now. So the LG G3 has a removable battery, which is awesome. That's uh, one step up from last year's model. Um, if you see the micro SIM and micro SD slot, they're actually on top of each other. So the micro SD card slot is directly on top of the SIM slot. Um, the micro SD slot supports up to 128 gigabytes of removable storage. Um, and in terms of the SIM, a brand new LG G3 is gonna have this inside, no need to touch it. And now let's take a look at the OS. During the setup process, you can create your very own knock code. This is a neat new feature that you can use to easily unlock your device. So we'll try this out now when unlocking the LG G3. And there we go. So the LG G3 is running a tweaked version of KitKat. The notification bar still has its own style, but as you can see, it's a lot cleaner than the LG G2s. 
And if we head to settings and then display and then tap home touch buttons, we can actually go to this place where you can change the button combinations that you see at the bottom of your device. So you can actually add up to five different buttons like a notification pull and a dual window feature. So if you click that, it'll pull down the notifications, which is pretty neat. And you know, you can also just swap around the order of the back home and multitasking buttons. If say your previous device had a different layout than what you were used to. The LG G3 also ships with a unique keyboard that's great for hands of all sizes. If you open its settings, uh, you can actually easily change the height of the keyboard. All you have to do is just drag from the middle of the screen up or down and it will, uh, it will space out the keys depending on your hand size. And I really love that they've given you this customization ability. So you can buy and own the metallic black version of the LG G3 right now from the Ting shop. There's a link and an annotation in the top left as well as in the description below. Really hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. For more unboxings, app reviews, and other mobile related videos, make sure to subscribe to Ting. Thanks for watching. See ya.